Hello everybody, today we're going to be sharpening and balancing our blade on our Works WG771 electric mower. It's a 19 inch mower. The first thing I've done is make sure that the key's out, obviously. I also have the batteries out and I have them right here where I can see them and I know that they're out. Um, battery operated electric mowers might be a little easier to get hurt on than a gas mower just because it's very easy for it to come on when you don't expect it to. So, um, this is a blade. It has this piece right here, which is not a cutting surface. It's, uh, it's on there strictly as a feature to help the mowing, I mean the uh, mulching part of it. And you can see my mulching plug is in. I use it that way quite a bit. This is just a 15 millimeter nut, and uh, all you have to do, just typical, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I've got my clamp on it here to help hold it, and uh, so, of course, it's going to be rotated this way. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing taking that off. It's pretty simple. It's, there's three pieces to this blade. There's the blade, there's the motion mechanism, and then behind this, there's going to be just a little keeper type thing that, you know, allows these to, to come through and keep everything tight together. So I'm not going to bother showing taking that off. Everybody knows how to do that. And we'll go on to uh, sharpening and balancing the blade. Okay, we've got our blade off. Um, and I have a really small yard, so it was hardly worn at all. Um, there was one... Pretty bad nick uh, right here from where I hit a rock or something and uh, I use my bench grinder just on that one little spot because uh, until I have to I don't want to ruin this the factory um, angle on the cutting edge because I have a feeling that's probably well researched so after using the bench grinder on that I just used a standard hand file on the rest of it and uh, most of you probably know you know the proper way to use a file is to push you push on it you don't pull back with it because that ruins your file and the next step is going to be to polish it I'm going to use the 220 grit sandpaper and my little sanding mouse here and uh, I'm using a fine grit because at this point I'm not looking to uh, to shape it I'm just I'm going to tighten up that molecular structure on the surface there and polish it so that uh, things are less likely to stick to it. They're going to slide off of it a little better, things that might ding it or just grass in general. So we're going to do that and then uh, we'll go on to the balancing stage. Okay, so we're ready to balance our blade. Uh, I got it cleaned up like we talked about. I used the 220, smoothed it off good. Uh, put some 60 grit on just to get rid of the that caked on grass and mud so it doesn't screw up our balance. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, my tripod that I typically use for uh, laser leveling and, and things like that. It has um, it's got your bubbles built into it here but for this particular use you want to uh, just look at the skirt of your um, balancing cone because that's the most important thing. That's how we're going to be judging the balance on it so you want to make sure that edge uh, is around there so level and so here's our uh, our blade and we're just going to set it set it on there just like that this blade has a, a little flat notch on it so you got to concentrate on getting it lined up with the round part and still work Get it lined up with the round part. Let the flat part just kind of set up a little higher because uh, it's not going to affect the balance. It's just going to make it set on there a little different. So that's what it looks like, and that's pretty darn good. It's kind of wobbling back and forth there because I don't have both hands to steady it. Um, one thing that's going to be different about this blade that makes it a little more difficult 
in the standard the flat blade is it, it has a twist to it but it also has a gentle bow to it you can kind of see it against the uh, the garage door there and you don't want to mess that up that's a design feature so even though I used my workmate to um, to work on top of I didn't you don't want to chuck these into a vise or some kind of clamp that would destroy that bow or that twist because to work properly that's got to stay in there. I just held it by hand and was real careful. I used uh, leather gloves and I think I would highly recommend that, you know, something like that. Um, because a lot of times you'll have a reflex when you grind that dust off as a reflex you'll try to flip it off with your hand and uh, that, that edge is pretty sharp right now so you definitely don't want to get careless around it so that's it um, uh, the first time I put it on there it actually wasn't balanced because like I said earlier that's where our rock chip was so I, I took a lot more metal off of this side than this side um, but I took that into account as I kept working on it so you can see where I actually kind of ground a little bit off the back with uh, the bench grinder and then worked on it a little bit on that shoulder, a little bit on that shoulder right there, a little bit more than I did the other side. And uh, for that, I used my automotive uh, grinder with a rock on it. So, but uh, I think this is going to work good. I'm pleased with it. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.